time. Hi, friends. It's time to hear part of the big God story. Yay. Let's Yay. sing our Bible song. Now it's, it's time, time to hear, hear God's, God's word. <laughs> hear God's word. Hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word. So let's look in the Bible. Friends, who else wants to hear part of the big God story? Hamilton. Yes, Hamilton the Hedgehog. Should we call him and ask him to join us? Yeah. All right, on the count of three, let's call him together. One, two, three. Hamilton, where are you? Hi, Hamilton. What do you have there? Oh, it's a shovel. I wonder if this is a clue for the big God story today. You must be super excited to find out what happens in the big God story. Me too. Before we get started, do you know where we can find the big God story? There. There. Where? Here. In the Bible. Bible. There. That's right. God gave us the Bible so we can learn more about him. It's full of things that help us get to know God. Before we start our story today, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Lord, help our friends calm their bodies and minds to be ready to learn more about you. Amen. Friends, who made day and night? God. God did. Who made water and land? God did. God did. Who made the sun, the moon, and all the stars? God did. God did. <laughs> Who made the fish in the ocean and the birds in the sky? God did. God did. Who made all of the animals? God did. God did. And who made you and me? God did. God did. Good job. And God made people too. He didn't use his words to make people. He used his breath. Can you hold up your hand in front of your face and breathe on it? That is what God did. First, he took a handful of dirt. Can I get a handful? Yeah. All right. When he had the dirt, he molded it together to form a man. But God wasn't finished. He breathed into what he made. And the man came to life. Isn't that amazing? Only God can give life. God named the first man Adam. Each of you has a special name. What is your name? My name is Annie. Albert. Sadie. Those are all great names. Well, God didn't want Adam to be all alone. He needed a helper. Guess what God did next? God made Adam go to sleep. Can we pretend we're asleep just like Adam? Then he took a bone from Adam and made a woman. Her name was Eve. God looked at Adam and Eve and said they were very good. Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden. God walked and talked with Adam and Eve in the garden he had made. What do you think God's footsteps sounded like? Can you pat your hands on your legs to sound like footsteps? Let's all make the sound of someone walking. You can make your person walk fast, or your person could walk slow. Adam and Eve are part of the big God story, just like you and me. God made people to love him and each other. Who do you love? Mommy. Mommy. 
Actually, you might love mommy. Daddy and grandpa. Or daddy or grandpa. I like, I like grandma. Or grandma. Those are very special people. I love my family and friends, and I love God, too. I am so glad that God made you and me. Let's thank Hamilton for coming to be part of the Big God Story. Thank you, Hamilton. Thanks, Hamilton. Bye. 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 Children, may you remember that God made each of us and he loves us so much. Bye! Bye.